The blind cross-site scripting vulnerabilities are often high or critical severity, and they can be truly awarding, especially if you are hunting on STR bug bounty programs. I've been seeing it over and over, it's almost mandatory to have your own blind XSS server. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your own BXSS server to catch all of these attacks even while you are sleeping. By the end of the video you will know its ins and outs of the entire process. Before start building let's get down to the basics. There are different types of cross-site scripting, reflected, stored and DOM based. Reflected XSS happens when malicious code is reflected off the web server. The stored XSS gets saved in the database and it's triggered later and DOM based XSS is executed on the client side directly by manipulating the document object model, basically inside the JavaScript functions. But here's where the blind XSS makes things to another level. In regular XSS attacks, you can immediately see the result of the injected script in your browser, most of the cases. However, the blind XSS triggers in areas where you can't see the execution directly, like admin panels, monitoring systems, or backend services that only the site owner or privileged user can access. That's why it's called blind. You might inject the payload, but the result happens in the place you can't observe. In this day and age, our data is the currency of many big tech companies, and they will thrive in collecting every detail about you. Your name, email, where you live, the browser you use, the websites you visit, or even credit card information, just to name a few. And who reviews that data? Employees or worse? third-party contractors, but what if the data includes an XSS payload? Well, if no good sanitization is being made in these admin areas where your data will end up, the payload will be triggered. Even though it's triggered, you need to know where and when it's triggered, because if you just use alert1 as a payload, you will never know. That's why you need to use blind XSS payloads and have a blind XSS server to listen where it's going to be triggered. So where do you put those payloads? Well, the topic do deserve another video, but in case you don't have that much patience, I highly suggest to check my blog post I made a while ago. You can find it down in the description. All right, now it's time for the fun part. If you already follow me, you will probably know that I tend to use DigitalOcean for the VPS provider with XSS Hunter Express. Although there are many other options, let's stick to those since they are pretty straightforward ones. Also, we need to set up the domain. I highly suggest to pick provider that has a two letter top level domain like .uk. For .uk, you can use this one right here. Let's open it. Um, yeah, so this one for .uk, they, they are pretty cheap, as you can see, like in pounds, it's almost only one bucks for uh, like first year. So yeah, it's, it's really, really cheap, just considering that. So after purchasing the domain, you need to sign in. And when you once you sign in, you will see the domains. For example, I use kit.uk, as you've probably seen on some of my videos or maybe on some of my streams. I use this as the example everywhere. So let's use this one uh, also for setting up the blind XSS server. So just go to DNS and you need your DNS name servers to point to the your VPS provider name server. So in this case, if I use the DigitalOcean, I am gonna need the DigitalOcean uh, name servers. Right now it's pointing to Cloudflare because on one of my streams I were using Cloudflare, just uh, like showing how you can set up the firewall. Feel free to check those streams as well if you want, but uh, right now to change the name servers, I need to know their names actually. So let's click on G edit name servers, use my own name servers. And I think there are three name servers. So quickly, if you use other provider, not DigitalOcean, you can do real quick uh, Google search. So digital ocean name servers, let's try to find those. 
um, all right so usually they have some like documentation and stuff like that come on uh, yeah so those three will point to the digital ocean let's just copy paste those actually I can just type like this click save and the DNS will take some time to fully initialize sometimes it could take up to one day but usually there will be like uh, from one hour to two hours like in the most cases let's click continue uh, I might refresh the page all right right now it's actually pointing to those so once that is done and you have like a very short domain setup like uh, .uk but also use free characters like this is my recommendation after that you need to open your uh, VPS provider in my case is DigitalOcean so I will just go to DigitalOcean.com click to log in after logging in you will be greeted with this dashboard I already created one project called P2 on this project what you will need to do is actually to spin up the droplet uh, that's how it's called on this platform it's actually VPS server uh, you can follow the guide right here on my blog as well but on the video it is pretty straightforward as well like click, click create droplet select any region it really depends where you actually live personally and on what bug bounty programs are you mostly hunting on if you're hunting on hacker one for instance you might want to choose uh, the united states uh, kind of locations but if you're also like hunting on integrity you might want to use like european ones but in my case i hunt almost everywhere so that's doesn't really matter i will just choose new york data center is also not that important for the os i will choose ubuntu with the newest version and for the droplet size i recommend using basic because this is like the cheapest one regular regular is the resources will be shared with some other people as well but since you won't need that much of resources this will work uh, you can use this one like two gigabytes of ram and two cpus will work all right but just for the sake of running smoothly i will choose this option and as you can probably see you can also enable backups but you will like get charged a little bit more uh, i will use my own ssh keys as you can see everywhere i have like my blind access payloads even in profile name and in the key section because i was like bug hunting on this platform they have a bug bounty program by the way all right so everything a part of this is fine i you can also choose like any host name like xss hunter for example or you can just leave it by default once that is done just click on create droplet so your droplet will be initialized pretty quickly up to one minute in most of the cases um yeah it will be very very quick and as i said like you can follow this guide everything here is pretty straightforward and the next thing what you will need to do after uh, setting up the dps you will also to need to manage its uh, dns records as well because right now as i shown this one is already pointing to vps but vps uh, it's like on the cloud provider side you need to set up the a record to point it to your newly created ip this is the newly created ip so right now you just need to go to the networking tab go to domains and just enter your domain what you have purchased like in my case it is kit uk oh wait 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 actually one thing what i did wrong actually make sure make sure that you select the right domain like uh, right project so in my case it was p2 so you make sure this is right project and another thing just write at and select your newly created ip address 
So as again, as I said, like setting up DNS records, sometimes it does take some time to fully initialize, but mostly it will be up to one hour or so. If you are finally ready to install XSS Hunter Express, keep this tab open, uh, go to the droplets, copy the IP address, just type ssh root at this IP address, write yes, click enter, and you will connect to your blind XSS server. So right now, what you need to do is follow these steps and just copy the commands. This will just open port 80 and port 443. Uh, you need to install Docker and you also need to install Docker Compose. I just used this version. It is a little bit older, I think, but it's gonna work still. Okay, after Docker is finished, Docker Compose. This will basically just read the binary under user local bin right here, Docker Compose. Next, to install Access Hunter Express, you can clone the directory and change into that directory under the home folder. And there is Docker Compose file. So I will just use nano docker compose yaml. Uh, you need to change the version right here. You need to change the host name. So your host name will be like the domain you purchased. SSL contact domain, You're just type your own Gmail domain right here. Also like change this, um, you can like easily see how you can find your own Gmail account details, but basically change this. And for the security sake, also you can change database password. So once that is ready, what you need to do next is actually actually just install Postgre database using Docker Compose. The D will mean that it will run in the background after everything. So with this command for XSS Hunter Express, first time you run it, I don't recommend to use D because what you can see in the screenshot below, you're gonna need to copy your first uh, generated password. So I will just click copy and it's definitely gonna take some time to install so be very patient sometimes it will take around 20 minutes or so you can see finally that says ready to serve and their like own domain name uh, you can also see the password save it somewhere i highly recommend copying this or maybe just copy kit.uk in my case i already opened it as you can see it's showing the payload and you just need to go slash admin and right here the password of it it will be this one i highly recommend using this and as you can see you're finally ready to go with your own custom domain and for the payloads you can really quickly test them out so i will just open the new like test.html payload and then use Firefox for the test HTML right let's see if the payload fires yeah we can see every time before testing something like if you are building your own payloads test it on your own computer before doing like spraying or praying and as you can see the report will show the user agent it will render the html of the web page where it occurred origin and all of that other fancy data you are finally ready to rock your blind xss journey right now the only thing what you're gonna need is actually to solve the puzzle by just spraying the payloads almost on every program you hunt on and to do it effectively, you actually need to have a decent methodology. I do have the live hacking video where I explain my own methodology, which actually helped me to score some good criticals. So 
but I want to limit the people who are using that methodology so I made it only for my patrons you don't actually need to purchase membership but if you only want to unlock that video only you can purchase that video only and for those people who are actually supporting me every month I really want to show the appreciation and as always it was my pleasure showing everything like this and I wish you happy hunting.